If you ever wanted to know how to 3D print a helmet step by step, then stay tuned, this video is for you. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm gonna show you the process of 3D printing your own helmet. From start to finish, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now, this is my first attempt at 3D printing and smoothing out a helmet. And it was when I first bought my Ender 3, which you could see here, and that's the reason why I bought the Ender 3. I started out with the Elegoo Mars doing resin printing, and it was cool for figures, but I wanted to do big things like props or stuff that was wearable, and this is actually wearable. Now, I learned a lot making this helmet. Things like how to set it up for print, what materials to use, how to smooth it, what paint to use, and so much more that I'm gonna share with you guys today. Now I know there's a lot of videos out there that tell you how to make helmets, but none of them really go into the price, and I don't know why people don't talk about the price. Now, excluding the printer, just filament, paints, filler, everything, this roughly cost me, with leftovers, mind you, $62 to make. And, you know, you gotta add in trial and error there, too. That's probably where the 62 came in. And I'm gonna put a list right here of all the things and prices that it cost me. And you can shop around for this stuff. Filament, you can shop around for really cheap. Paints, fillers, one of the biggest things was fillers. Some stores, it'd be $10 for the spot putty that I used. And I found it at Walmart for $3.50. So, shop around. That tip can actually save you quite a bit of money. So, if you plan on making a helmet, figure that it's gonna cost you around anywhere from $50 to hundred dollars to make around that price point which if you look up how much these helmets go for if you want a premium nice helmet that's way cheaper than it is to buy one so let's head over to the computer and I'll give you an idea of how I set up my prints to make a helmet all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to myminifactory.com and I'll leave in the link in the description down below along with the link to this file now we're gonna go for the Mandalorian helmet version 2 we click on this the reason why I'm choosing this one is this file actually comes in pieces which makes things a lot easier if you have a small print bed and when I say a small print bed like I'm using an Ender 3 and it has 220 by 220 print volume I don't have that much space on my print bed to print a helmet that would fit my head. So this is the one I want to download. Okay, once that's done downloading, we'll bring it over here. It'll be in your downloads folder. Click on the Mandalorian helmet. And if you look at these, they're individual pieces. You could do the whole or you could do individual pieces. Now you have the whole helmet right here, which we can check. Now you could use this in any slicer. I have Cura and I have Prusa Slicer. I honestly prefer Prusa Slicer. So we'll open up Prusa Slicer. I do have a video on the basics of Prusa Slicer. You can see that video right here if you guys want to get into Prusa Slicer. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click up here and we're gonna add the helmet file in. So we got the one piece helmet file. We're gonna go ahead and bring this in. And as you could see on my print bed, it would not fit. But it's nice to have this full piece so that way, that way we can get measurements off of it. And your measurements are right over here. It gives you the size of the helmet right over here so you can figure out what size you want. I highly recommend that you slice this up at one of the longest pieces and just do like just a piece of this to actually print out so that way you can see if it'll fit your head. Now I have a video that shows you how to slice this up and you can see that video right here. So basically what you wanna do is if you watch that other video, it'll show you how to slice up the helmet so that way you can get pieces like this. And it's just a small print. This will save you tons of time of the helmet, the actual circumference of the helmet. So that way you could see if it'll fit your head. So if you put these two pieces together, it'll fit your head. So I can see that this is gonna be big enough to fit my head. So you wanna print this out. This will take like maybe an hour or two hours, not even save you hours and hours of time. Now, this one barely fits my head and it's a show piece. I don't go around wearing it. It's just, it would be nice that it would be actual full size. And it does, it does fit my head. I gotta cram my head in there, but then you risk little blemishes like this when you stress out the plastic. So you do wanna make sure if you're going to wear this that you print out these perimeter 
kind of guide so that way you can see if it's gonna fit your head. And now I know you guys are thinking, another Mandalorian helmet? Everybody's doing a Mandalorian helmet. Yes, they are. I just really wanted to do one because I'd like one display in the background. And, and they're actually really expensive. If you look at Amazon, what they're going for, anywhere from $100 to $700 on Amazon. So yeah, I really wanted one and I'm a big fan of the Mandalorian series. Okay, so now once you slice this and you make the outline of your head, and let's say you reduced it by 25%, or you made it bigger 25%, or you went down 10%, whatever size percent you went down, let's say you change the size to like, change it to 80%, because that's what your head is. So we got 80%. When you print all your pieces, make sure you print them all at 80%. So if that's the case, if your head was that size and you were able to fit it on your print bed, like I have here, and you sliced it, it would take two days and 16 hours to print. I don't know about you guys, but that's a lot of risk to print this helmet and a lot of material be wasted if you do it this way. I personally like to do it in pieces and that's why I'm gonna show you my process of doing it in pieces and then gluing it together afterwards. All right, so obviously we can't print this. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this and we're gonna go ahead and import the parts. Luckily for me, I don't have to change the size. This actually fits my big head. So I'm gonna start importing parts. Now, the first one I wanted to do is the actual helmet part. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm not gonna go through all these with you. I'm just gonna show you a couple pieces just to give you guys an idea of what you should do as far as infill and everything. Now the infill, I'm gonna do with standard 15%. I'm using a 0.4 nozzle and I'm gonna change this to actual a draft. So I'm gonna do it a little bit faster and it's gonna save a lot of time on print time and I'll show you the difference. Now I have a glass bed so I am gonna turn on brim just because sometimes the glass bed can be a little uneven heat and it can warp a little bit and we don't want any warping so by putting a brim around it it'll stop some warping. It's just a safety net. And then supports I'm gonna go ahead and put everywhere. And now if we go ahead and slice this, it'll take 15 hours and 11 minutes. Now, I know what you guys are wondering, you want that detail. We're gonna be smoothing that detail out and it's 15 hours now. And if we went to, you know, normal, we'll just put it at normal and we'll slice it. You're saving an hour and a half. So, I mean, so if you wanna just do that for the detail, that's up to you. I went with draft. We're saving about an hour worth of time. It's up to you if you think it's worth it or if you if it's not, I don't see that much detail and it's just making the layer lines a little bit, a little bit thicker, not much thicker. Support material is very high here. It's a rounded corner. You can go into settings and we can change the support material to like 30%, I don't know if you should go any lower than that because you might have a mishap. So 30% looks like it's a pretty decent infill. And now we got this down to roughly 13 hours. So it's, we're saving more and more time by doing materials. And you can see how this is gonna build up. Now what concerns me is this part right here. It's coming, there's a deep hangover and that's gonna be a risk. Luckily, like I said, this is why I like to do it in pieces. That way if this piece fails, I can either start the print from there or I could just reprint it and I only lose 13 hours. And we could do a piece by piece. So that's one of the pieces. I want to show you one of the other pieces. So let's get rid of this. And I want to show you one of the front pieces and the way I orientate it. This is all fine and dandy. You want to do it this way, you go right ahead. We'll keep the same settings. To me, that's a risky print because you got all your build up here and then it's going out to this and it's a lot. It's taken 15 hours to do this. I would not print this like this. What I would do in the other hand, and this is where you want to try and look at the orientation of your helmet or piece of helmet, if you will. And we'll go over here and we'll go to rotation and we're going to rotate this 90 degrees. Now it's straight up and down. This is the bottom of the helmet. We're not gonna see too much detail at the bottom of the helmet, and we're also gonna sand it down. What I'm worried about is keeping this nice and flat around the eye, around the next edge, and so what we're gonna do is we'll actually do it from here. So we'll slice it from here, and now it builds up support all the way around the bottom and goes straight up in a line. And we don't really have to worry about that. And look how much time we save. Only eight hours and 52 minutes to print this. Doing it pieces like this, it's a safer bet. That way if something goes wrong with your printer, you're not losing a whole helmet, you're only losing a piece. Now, it does take a little bit longer, but like I said, you, you have a little bit more control. So in essence, after going through this whole helmet and setting up everything for print, it's gonna take roughly 
roughly around 100 hours to print, which is a little bit more time. It's about a day longer than it would have taken to print the whole helmet all together. But I have two printers. They'll be running at the same time, so it'll take me actually less time. It's all according to what you have and how you want to do it. But me personally, I think doing pieces, if something messes up, which is going to happen, you're not losing a day's worth of printing to only have half a helmet and it's messed up. Now, I am going to be printing this in PLA. If you could do it in PLA Plus, I recently did a video on PLA Plus by Duramic. I would take a look at that video right here. Stuff's really good, really strong. You could see that in the video. I would use a PLA Plus because it gives you the best of both worlds, especially when making a helmet where you have the ABS toughness and you have the PLA printability. Okay, so there was some quick tips on how to set up your print for your helmet and how to do it in pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead and do mine in pieces and you could try and do it a full size helmet if you want, if you have the print bed. Hey, awesome. I think this is a safer bet for me personally. Like I said, I would definitely recommend a PLA Plus because it's a little bit stronger, actually quite a bit stronger. And I'm gonna go ahead and print out my parts the way I showed you. And next week, I'll show you guys how to put the pieces together and use the technique that I've been playing with, which that's why this is on my desk, which is a welding technique that I use instead of gluing it, we can actually use a soldering iron to weld it together and actually use material and weld it together. So that way it's actually one piece and it's a lot stronger when you actually use a soldering iron and weld these together. I'll show you how I like to do it next week. That's it for me guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way and ring that bell if you're following along with this video tutorial so that way you get notified as soon as the video comes out. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. I actually wonder if this still will fit me. 3D printed. <sighs> My head got bigger. It's over. That's it, guys. I mean, there's other videos up there. Or if you want to do me a huge favor, click the like button or subscribe button's even better. 